Hi guys and welcome back to another vlog series. Yeah, it's another vlog series. Guess where I am? I am at Manchester Airport because today is travel day. I cannot believe I've just said that. Today is travel day. These are the Virgin desks behind us and we are off to Florida. Come on, let's go get checked in. So this is the new Terminal 2 Departures. Let's discover it together because I have never been here since it's been redone. So we've got a cost of coffee as soon as we come through. We've got a bureau to change. You can get ATM multi-currency, that's fab. Not sure how much it costs though. Like I said, big cost of coffee. Got a WH Smiths. We've got a David. Let's have a wander around and see what we can see. And then you've got World Duty Free. Last minute sportswear? Get some, you head to JD. It's definitely got some sort of like high street shopping mall vibe, hasn't it? all checked in now that was relatively stress free um, needed your documents you needed so you needed I needed to show my Esther I needed to show my what else was it uh, my vaccine certificate and my Covid test to say that it was negative Covid test um, there was no queue at check-in for us this morning we were very early um, so that was all relatively free. Couldn't check it online last night, got chosen for extra security for some reason. I think it was to do with the, the address not being inputted on their system, but all was good. Um, security was relatively easy and efficient. It is much easier traveling without kids. We are now just sat in the restaurant about to have some breakfast. I've ordered bacon balm, sorry, butty, bread cake, whatever you want to call it, sandwich, and a mimosa. So just time to relax now because yesterday was super, super stressful having all the testing. Um, but I'll talk to you about that when I'm not in here. Hello, so it's currently nine o'clock in the morning. It looks like a grey and miserable dull day in Manchester out the window. The flight has just been gated so people are heading down towards the gate now, which we will do in a minute. Had a really lovely breakfast at the, um, the bar upstairs. The San Carlo next door and the restaurant that we went to was? Bridgewater. The Bridgewater. Similar sort of prices. I think the Bridgewater is slightly cheaper so it is busier. Um, I think there's a pound difference in it for like each kind of meal. Some of the most next door was a bit one, one pound more expensive. If you want more of a relaxed vibe, head to San Carlo. But it was still really nice. We had bacon butties and I had a mimosa. It was good. I had a bit of a wander around duty free. The place still looks a little bit work in progress. There are still boardings up everywhere and there are a few restaurants and cafe things not yet open. Um, we've bought some smellies from Duty Free so that's nice. I smell lovely now and lovely and fresh. We have spoke to the children because obviously the children aren't coming with us. They are heading off to school right now. Poor them. Um, but we are going to head to the gate and let's get on this plane. So we are just wandering through to our gate and we have to go all the way down the old pier, old part of Terminal 2. So if you've ever travelled out of Terminal 2, this is the older bit. So top tip, especially if it's a quieter day, loads of seating here. But then we are in January, what it's like in the height of summer when all these gates are full. 
at least there'll be more room. The passengers. So this is the old terminal too. Crazy. And this is where all the shops used to be in the restaurant. Really odd. We have now got to walk all the way down there. There's David just admiring the A350. Really, really wants to go on that one. How sexy does that look? And we're still walking. So we're getting on. We are just on the plane, they are They're doing a bit of an announcement. On our flight today, got a pack. you are advised in advance, they have a special exemption. We'll and wait till he's finished. When you're in flight entertainment doesn't work. You get to watch a map for eight and a half hours. The dinner has arrived. We have got chicken, pasta, roasted butternut squash, sea salt, chocolate, oh it's not focusing, and then some crackers with some smelly cheese. and wine in a can. So we have just had our dinner, which was actually really nice. I had chicken and pasta with butternut squash, and so did you, didn't you? Yep. And it was actually really yummy, um, with crackers, a borsan, and a chocolate pudding, which we've not yet eaten. We have moved. The plane isn't very full today, so we have moved to Economy Delight seats because our entertainment wasn't working in our other seats which was really lovely of them to let us move for further forward um, so we are going to sit back relax and watch a movie yep it's a couple to watch what are you going to watch I'm, like, I'm, I'm into you in here what are you going to watch <laughs> um, probably misfits to start with okay um, I'm watching I think 
think this is the secret. I am watching um, a chick flick and I can't remember what it was called. It'll make you cry. It will probably make me cry. So I'm going to sit back and watch that and then I will check in with you if something else happens. Six hours into the flight, we've got another four hours to go, which is, oh, I am so tired, I don't know about you, I am exhausted. Ugh. Got a coffee, which I just spilled all over my phone. And the biscuits too. <laughs> Fitty's biscuits, which is now empty because I've spilled it all over me. I am very, very, very tired. worth it won't it? I think yeah. it will be worth it. Cheers! The afternoon tea has arrived! Mile high tea! And that is it disassembled. So we have got a sandwich which is Emmental cheese, whole grain mustard, mayonnaise and spinach. Please. So we have just got about an hour and a half left to go. The mask is off because we are having afternoon tea, as you'll have just seen. I am looking decidedly worse than I was this morning. I am absolutely exhausted. I don't know about you. Yeah, very tired. It has been a very, very long flight. Didn't sleep very well last night, which is not helping. So we're just having the sandwich and the, I'm having a coffee again. And then David's just having his afternoon his afternoon tea, so his cream tea, because he doesn't like the sandwich. It's a little bit rubbery, shall we say. I'll eat it. I'm hungry. I'm not quite sure. But it's going to fill a hole anyway. Like I said, one hour and a half left to go. I can't wait to get off this plane. We've arrived. Ten hours later. Reasonable queue for immigration. Let's go and get the hire car. But look, look how beautiful that is. So we're just going to go and pick up our rental car. We have come down to level one. Um, 
quit through the tunnel. Zero. Zero. Let's uh, start again. We are just going heading to get our rental car. We have just come down to level zero. Um, yeah, let's go and see what it is. So we ordered an economy car through Virgin and we got upgraded to a mid-size car. David wants the pickup trucks down there. I said no. We've gone for a car car. You're a bit upset, aren't you? Yeah, you mean. We have gone for a normal car. Because there's two of us. We do not need that pickup truck. It was awesome, though. Our wheels for the next week. We're in America. Gee, you scared me then. <laughs> Faz. You've been dead quiet for like five minutes, then just jump. We're in America. Yeah. Don't forget to drive on the right, right hand side of the road. First with the ones. Remember in England, love? Take about a truck because it was humiliating. That's because you're slow. Well, speaking of trucks. So we have finally arrived at Surfside. That took some doing. We got lost a few times, shall we say. Getting loads of beach vibes now. Now we'll go and have a look. How cool is this lobby? Right, let's go and check in. Obviously we'll do a full tour later on. All checked in, heading to Tower 2. Floor 5. Explores a grab and go with a luminous Fanta. Fitness Fanta. I'm gonna go there later. No. Very cool. I won't show you in case anyone's working out. Right, let's head into the lift. View of the pool. Very cool. So a room tour of Endless Summer Surfside. So the main door, walk in, nice big mirror, reflection, not so much. Very weary travellers. You have got a basic wardrobe, which is ample enough for us. And some spare pillows or duvet up there. Obviously, um, iron, ironing board, sorry, and the iron, and your safe. We'll do it this way, which is the bathroom. We've got a sink, obviously, one sink comes with towels and linen. It comes with a soap and hand towels and a hairdryer. Let's not look at that. Bathroom, which doesn't have a bath in it, which is fine. Some complimentary soaps. And coming into the main room is this. You get two queen size or double beds here, and obviously that's an adjoining room, so you can have them both together. Nice big wide open space here. More storage, drawers, fridge. Clock. 
plugs, so the adapter, so a nice USB-C port there. Massive telly. Comfy chair. And we get a nice pool view. Lots of people out in the pool today. Hi guys, so it's been many hours since I last left you. Um, I last left you doing a room tour. Um, we then FaceTimed Emily because Emily was still awake. It was half 10 at home, so she was still up and Harry was obviously asleep. Um, so it was nice to speak to Emily. Gave her a little room tour as well and she was upset because it looks amazing and the pool looks incredible. Sorry, I've got something in my eye. And um, the pool looks incredible, so she was a little bit upset. As you will know, the trip for this one is just about the Disney, doing me doing the Disney Marathon and I couldn't take her out of school because she's doing her mock exams. Um, David and I then went and got some food from City Walk. We didn't take the camera with us. Um, we just wanted to just have a moment for ourselves because that's, at the end of the day, we are, we are on holiday and this is our experience. We just vlog it because we enjoy it. Um, we went to Bubble Grump Shrimp and got tested on um, All Facts Forest Gump. We passed with flying colours because I absolutely love um, Forest Gump. I had some shrimp and David had a burger. He doesn't do shrimp. I know, go into a shrimp place. Um, travel day has been very, very long. A 10 hour flight, we had to go a different route just because of the strong winds. Um, but that is going to be it for travel day. We are exhausted. We're going to go to bed. It's half seven. No, yeah, half seven, so half. 12, no, half 12 at home. So that's it for travel day. I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we enjoy showing you. Um, I absolutely love travel day. It's been it, always my favorite day. Don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. Leave any comments down below. Um, ding the bell for notifications to see our future vlogs. And don't forget to subscribe because we really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.